Microsoft made a holodeck, some guy is trying to make a tricorder, and Bing is way too into Klingon. It's the Tech Feed Star Trek Spectacular! Jealous of all the cool tech in Star Trek? Well, now you don't have to be, because some of it may be available to you in the near future. Remember the holodeck from Star Trek The Next Generation? It was the room that let the crew travel anywhere and experience anything without leaving the Enterprise. It's also where Picard killed a couple of Borg in a 1920s nightclub with a Tommy gun. Well, just like Picard in First Contact, you too can experience shooting robots with a Tommy gun in a nightclub thanks to Microsoft's Illuma Room. The way Illuma Room works is by using a small wide angle projector on say your coffee table that then projects the rest of the image that isn't on your television screen onto your entertainment center and adjacent walls. The result is a dizzying full frontal assault on your senses that puts you right into the action, especially when Illuma Room does things like warp your surroundings or pours a game out of the television and onto your floor, or does everything all at once. And while that's a huge pro for gamers wanting full immersion, it does need Kinect to make it happen, so, you know, there's that con. What say you, Captain Kirk, pro or con? Con! Ham-fisted Star Trek references aside, Qualcomm and the XPRIZE Foundation have offered $10 million to anyone who can develop a real-life tricorder. For reference, the tricorder is a handheld medical device capable of diagnosing what's wrong with a patient in seconds. The tricorder Qualcomm is looking to find would be similar to a smartphone and able to record things like blood pressure, pulse, and temperature. Then based on those vitals, it would be able to diagnose 15 different diseases. The contest is expected to reveal 10 semi-finalist prototypes by 2014 and finalists by 2015. And if you want to see one right now, watch this episode of Factor Fictional where Veronica Belmont checks out the Scanadu handheld medical device. But if you can't wait until 2015 for Star Trek tech to start infiltrating your life, you can start today by getting custom Star Trek email addresses at StarTrekEmail.com. The site offers three addresses, to boldlygo.com, Starfleet.com, and USSEnterprise1701.com. And if you're really feeling saucy, Bing will translate all of your email text into Klingon. Yeah. That's apparently a thing now. They'll even translate into traditional Klingon Kronos text for the extra nerdy set. Are you guys gonna go see Star Trek Into Darkness this weekend? Let me know in the comments below. And for more tech feed, please subscribe to the channel. For TFN, I'm Scott Bromley saying, Chapen Mak Dak Chaborach I have no idea what I just said. I have no clue what I just said. Thanks, Bing! Is it a couple of Borg? I don't know. Hey, Frank! Speed. <laughs> Frank, we're doing some Borg investigational journalism. Uh, hey, Frank, can you journalism. help us with something? What is the plural of Borg? Is it Borgs? Or is it many Borgs?